everyone. This is Maria from A Modern Girl Makes with another Eddie video. In this video, we will work through manually centering third-party accessory trays using bartender and windows. Yes, I did say windows. Usually my videos are all about the Mac, but I learned something recently uh, when hanging out with some Eddie friends that how Windows users manually center versus how Mac folks manually center are two really different things. So I tried to come up with a way to mash up those two and have the best of all worlds. So please check out the description below for the links to the documents I'm going to be using, as well as other links to other resources that you might see. Let's gather our supplies so that you have them all ready before we go to the computer and the printer. What I will be using, if you want to follow along, are uh, the Milton base tray. I use the Milton base tray pretty much exclusively for all the kind of printing that I do. I just find that for the kind of printing, which is usually one or two cookies at a time versus hundreds of cookies at a time, the Milton tray base, the base tray works best for me. This workflow though will work with the sassy tray on the carousel as well, as well as the royal icing transfer tray and the brown bag tray and also the sprinkle tray. As long as you know the dimensions of your tray, then you can follow this process. I will be using the Milton base tray. I'm also going to suggest that you use the second part of the tray, which is the placement tray, and go ahead and connect that as well to get just a little more loft so that Eddie can see that. Sometimes when your tray goes in and out and in and out, it might not think there's a cookie there. So we're going to make sure that it's tall enough, if you will, uh, by either using the placement tray or what I'm going to use in the video, which is uh, this magnet frame. I love this little magnet frame. It allows me to do other things like create royalizing transfers. And uh, a lot of times I print with a paper towel to give me that placement and it holds the paper towel in place and the paper towel gives the cookie a little grip. I think it's just kind of a really good mashup of a lot of great things that are out there. You will also need to download a couple of documents. The first one that you see here is the step-by-step -step that I'm going to be going through. Some people liked to read, others like to watch. You can do it either way. You will need to download this so that you can print out on your regular inkjet or laser printer this rectangle, this red outlined rectangle with the blue circle in the middle. That's going to show us exactly where center is on the tray that we're working with. I am using Bartender software because I am going to be working in Windows. Make sure you've got Bartender ready to go. And you're also going to download the bartender template that is set up in the correct uh, dimensions or uh, page size for what we're going to be working with. It is the Milton tray height and width. So go ahead and download that. It's also when we print it, you'll see that it has some, some helpful information when we print. Then lastly, uh, I find I use my digital caliper a lot. I use it and purchased it when I started 3D printing. Now I use it in my cookies all the time when it comes to Eddie. So if you don't have one of these, you might want to invest. I think you can pick one up for less than $10. I'll have a link below. All right, now that you've got everything gathered up, Let's walk through the process on the computer with Eddie. All right, I have moved to my Windows machine and I have two windows open here. One is the Primera Print Hub and I have it opened to the Alignment tab. Uh, please disregard my low ink notification, but I'm not changing it until it actually runs out of ink. For those who've been at this for a bit, you know, it can still keep going. 
All right, so I'm on the alignment tab. When we are working with third-party accessories that fit on Eddie's tongue, we are going to uncheck this centering scan. When we do this, we are telling Eddie, this is where I want you to think the center of my tray is. I don't want you to scan it for the center. So you're going to uncheck this. We do not want Eddie to do it. We are going to tell him where it goes. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I have set my horizontal offset and vertical offset to zero, zero just so that you can see what it looks like when it doesn't print centered. I know this is going to mess it up by doing zero, zero. All right, so that's what we need here in the Premiera Print Hub. The next thing that I'm going to direct you to is Bartender, where I have opened up a template. This is the template that I put the link to in the video description, and it is already set up for the most current Milton tray, 4.41 inches and 4.72 inches. This is ready to go and ready to print. So the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my printer is ready to do the test print. Now at the Eddie printer, let's talk about getting this set up and ready to go for our first test print. Here I have the Milton tray, as I talked about, and the Milton tray um, that I printed, I actually figured out how to put magnets in it, um, and I use it for a lot of different ways, uh, and you'll see that in just a second. So I'm going to place that onto the tray, and if you don't have a magnet tray, then you're going to want to use your placement tray. And that's just going to fit on, and then you're going to put in your little buttons that hold that tray in place. We need that depth. We need the thickness for this. So you've got to use both of those trays together, or you can use the frame. And the frame, let me take this little button out. The frame just pops on like that and it will hold down whatever I'm using. So in this case, it is this printed rectangle that was a part of your directions that I've cut out. I'm just gonna lay it as, you know, on, the, on the tray, and then I'm gonna pop on my magnet frame. Make sure that this really is in the actual center. That blue dot should be the center of the tray. Okay, got it ready to go. Now, back to the software. So, we're ready to do that first print. To do that, I'm going over to the Bartender software um, with this template already set up. And I'm going to do Control P for print. And I'm going to take advantage of this test print right here. All right, Eddie, I'm going to hit the pause button. You might have noticed that my Eddie is doing multiple scans, and that is also a recommendation by uh, Primera to make sure that, especially if you're doing things like M&Ms, that is doing multiple passes to make sure you don't have things sitting in a gap where it might be measuring. All right, a little high and a little um, towards the, the negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix one thing at a time, and I'm going to use my handy-dandy calipers here. And I just love it because they can measure. And so I'm going to try to do from center dot to center dot, if that makes sense. Center to center. Uh, 5.3 millimeters. So now I'm going to go and enter that into the software. OK. 
and that was the vertical offset. And we said 5.3. That looks good. Everything's been saved. Back over to the bartender template. Control P for print. Test print. I think that looks really good from the vertical. Now we need to adjust the horizontal and it is not much. And so like, if it wasn't that much, why bother adjusting it? Well, if you're trying to hit the center of an M&M, &M, this makes a difference. So 1.8 millimeters, I'm gonna enter that one in. All right, one more test print. And if this paper gets too written over, well, just use the, another one until you get it exactly where you want it. Hmm. I think if I move, if I go down on the vertical a little bit, so increase the number a little bit on the vertical and I will have nailed it. I'm gonna change this. I need to increase the number. So 5.75. And test print. Forgot to switch the camera so you didn't get to see it print. But here it is. And I really think that is right on the money, which is going to be great because, like I said earlier, if you're going to be trying to hit the center of each one of these MMs, it matters. Millimeters can matter. See how this helps you center that tray and hit the bullseye for all of those little m &Ms. What you might be wondering is now, what if I'm gonna use a sassy tray, what do I do? Before you redo this on a sassy tray, write your numbers down, record them, put them on a sticky note on top of your printer so that you can remember what they are and you can come back to them when you switch back to using this tray. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to be notified of new content. And if this video was helpful to you and you would like to support the creation of more Eddie content, please use the Buy Me a Coffee link below.